What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number th ah! 35 of Autodesk Fusion. So today we're going to be working on how to stack uh, parts in Inventor and then also how to use that function new component. So uh, there's two different ways. I could do this or I could do this. However, these look very, very similar, but there's one key difference. This is all one body in Fusion. And we want to, when we start making things that are composed of different things, we want to use new components. So if you noticed over here, there's nothing right here. There's nothing. But over here, we see that I, were able, I was able to make three different components in this one file. One is the box, one is the cylinder, and one is the triangular prism. So what I'm going to do then is show you how to do this and do it well. So the first thing we do is start with a new design. Let's start a new sketch. It doesn't really matter which plane I pick on. You're going to design that first piece. So for me in the bottom is going to be that rectangular prism. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click this. Now what I'm going to do over here, and this is the really important part. Over here on the right side, I'm going to click on new component. And what this does is this allows in my design file to say that this thing is a project in itself and it is a component. Now let's rename that component. So I'm going to double click, use a slow double click, and just name this box. And so now we have the first component in our sketch called box. I'm going to click on create a sketch. I'm going to click on this plane because for me that circular, that cylinder was tucked right on top. So I'm going to do is create a circle hit finish sketch and then just extrude this up. Now if I don't click over here in the operation new component you what you do is you're saying that box now has a cylinder and it's part of it. We want to make a new component and be able to use a cylinder independently. So I'm going to use new component click OK. Now I'm going to rename this as well so let's double click slow double click and let's just call this cylinder. Alrighty, and I've got one last piece. Let's make that triangular prism. So I'm going to start a new sketch. Oh, let's try this again. Start a new sketch right here. And I'm going to make the base of my triangle right here. And let's make it overhang just a little bit. Finish sketch. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this on upwards. Now there is more than one way absolutely to make this triangular prism, but I want to hit on something really important. New component. Okay, now I've made my component, I'm not done with it yet, but let's go over here, double click, and let's call this triangular prism. Call that done. Now I'm not done with this piece yet. What I'm gonna do is start a new sketch on this piece and do some subtractive modeling and making that triangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this triangle out. Hit finish sketch, and I'm gonna now extrude this triangle shape backwards. And now what I'm gonna do here is called cut. Click OK, and then we're done. Now, the difference between this one and the wrong way to do it, this is all one body. I can't do any future operations with it that we're going to be looking at using soon. So to make sure you've done this well, you should be able to, and this is kind of an extra thing, play around with joints. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on joint. I'm going to click on the top of that cylinder, and I'm going to click on the center of the side of my box and it moves that piece. It will adjust a little bit, kind of looks like an earthquake. Click OK. And then I'm able to do this as well with the other piece. And this just assembles everything nice and easy, easy to go. You're able to move those parts around. If I tried to do that with this, I'm going to click on Joint, and it says there are no components. We need to have components in order to move them. Alrighty, guys, as far as that video goes, we're going to wrap it up here. Good luck on making your parts, and if you can do it well, you should be able to move those components around. Good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.